Adventure Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hey there. Today, I'm a detective. I'm trying to solve a mystery. What mystery? The mystery of the missing Toto. <laughs> Let's see if I can find some clues. <gasps> Look, footprints. I must be on the right track. <laughs> Where could he be? <laughs> there you are. Are you ready to be a detective, Toto? Yeah! Excellent. We'll bring our tablet so we can take photos and make notes. All we need now is a mystery to solve. Moo! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Moo? What's the trouble? Oh, Dr. Pander, something terrible has happened. My carrots have gone missing. Oh, please come quick. No worries, Moo. Toto and I will solve your mystery. I picked my carrots this morning and now look. Hmm. Why would carrots suddenly disappear? I don't know. Are you sure you haven't eaten them for breakfast? I had eggs for breakfast. Eggs? Hmm. <gasps> Maybe someone <gasps> took them. I don't think so. Who would have taken them? Someone who likes carrots, that's who. Oh, I know. June. She loves carrots. But June wouldn't just take them without asking. You know, Moo, sometimes things turn out to be quite different than they seem at first. Anything could have happened. <gasps> Maybe the baskets have holes. No holes. Has anything else gone missing from the farm? I don't know. I was on my way to collect some apples when I noticed... Oh! <gasps> my apples! No! Not my apples, too! I was going to make my special apple pie! Are you sure there's no thief, Dr. Pander? Not likely. This thief would have to be really tall to reach all the way up there. Olette! She could reach up with her trunk. But Olette is no thief. She would never steal your apples. Nope, something else must have happened. So, Moo, when was the last time you saw the apples? Uh, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Maybe the apples got blown off the tree by a storm. But there wasn't a storm. Okay. <laughs> Um, oh, maybe you already collected the apples and just forgot? No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> look, look! Oh, what's this? It's a footprint. Well, whose footprint is it? Don't know yet. But I'm sure things aren't as they seem. <gasps> oh, my. Whoever this thief is, they must still be on the farm. First the carrots, then the apples. Oh, where else do you keep food? <gasps> the kitchen! Oh, at least my cupcakes are still here. I made them specially. They're my favourite. So, everything's still here then? Oh! <gasps> My cupcakes! Moo! Oh no, oh no, oh no! All my food gone! Right from under our very noses! This thief has a big appetite to want so much food. Someone like Hooper! That's ridiculous, Moo. Well, it must have been Bip then. He's fast, and he's certainly a bit of a rascal. Bip does like to mess around, but he's no thief. Sometimes things aren't what they seem at first, remember? Ah, a feather! Another clue! Let's look at what we know. First, there were the empty carrot baskets, then the strange footprints by the orchard, and now a feather in the kitchen. Hmm. No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <gasps> Listen in the background. <laughs> we'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> Have you checked the chickens today, Moo? <gasps> My chickens! Oh, no! Oh, no! Someone's taken all my chickens! 
remember that things can be very different from what they seem. Maybe the chickens went out for a stroll. I do hope they're all right. Oh, I know. We'll set a trap to find the thief. Ooh. Here's what we'll do. We'll tie the chocolate bar to the camera with string. And we'll get a picture of whoever takes the chocolate. All we have to do is wait. Oh, <gasps> Someone's here. <gasps> They're too quick, Dr. Pander. We'll see about that. Oh, is that my chickens? But why would my chickens want to steal my food? I feed them very well. I don't know, but there must be a good reason. Hmm. Huh? Ah! Moo, look! Oh, my! <laughs> Wow. Oh, my sweet darlings! Thank you! Uh, Moo, I think it's time you enjoyed the special treat the chickens made you. So, there was no thief after all. You were right, Dr. Pander. Things can be very different from what they seem. Oh, thanks for helping me today. And you too, Toto. Toto! Hey, that's a very nice picture. You should be a photographer, Dr. Pander. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Pander. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hey, everyone. Today, I'm a farmer. I'm helping Moo pick apples in her orchard. Oh, that sounds like fun. And Olette and Hoopa are gonna help too. Oh, what's this? Choo choo. Whoa, Toto, that's an awesome train track. Can I play too? <laughs> choo choo. Dr. Panda? We're up here, Olette. Dr. Panda, are you ready to go? Look at Toto's awesome train track. You wanna play? Oh, no, no, we don't have time for playing with trains. We've got to help Moo pick apples. She needs them to make her tasty apple jam in time for the farmer's market. Oh, yeah! Let's go! Choo-choo! Where's Hooper? Isn't he supposed to be helping, too? He's inside helping Moo make the first batch of jam. He'll be here soon. Well, okay. But he'd better hurry. We need his help to collect all the apples in time. Come on! Let's get picking! Hooper, could you hand me the sugar from the shelf? Uh-oh. It's empty. Oh, then fill it with a new bag from the stockroom, please. No problem. I'm on it. Be careful. The sugar is in the bag with the blue bow. Don't use the bag with the red bow. That's salt. Right. Blue for sugar, red for salt. Blue for sugar, red for salt. Bluey, bluey sugar, red, red salt. Sugary sugar, tatty dum. Blue and red, red and blue. How I love to sing to you. Here we are, red for sugar and blue for salt. <coughs> or was it blue for sugar and red for salt? <coughs> it was definitely red for sugar. <coughs> Here's the sugar, Moo. Thanks, Hooper. An extra bit of sugar to make the jam nice and sweet. Aww. Hi, Hooper. Are you ready to get picking? Yep. Ready, steady, pick. Whoa! That apple's almost as fast as your train, Toto. Huh? Train! Come on, everyone. We need to pick faster so that Moo has those apples in time to make all her jam. Ready, steady, pick! <laughs> hey, oh, hey, 
Show! It's definitely different. And salty. Salty? <coughs> oh, Moo! No. This is a disaster! I must have put salt in instead of sugar. Uh-oh. I think this was maybe my fault. Never mind that. I have to leave for the farmer's market in an hour. I need to make a new batch of jam. Quickly. No worries, Moo. We'll help you out. I, I need all those apples you've picked right away. Oh dear, I don't think that's possible. Because we only have a few apples in our baskets, the rest are all on the ground. Mo, this is terrible! There's not enough time to gather all the apples I need. Huh? How did that get there? <gasps> oh, I see! See what? That's very nice, but we don't have time for games. No, don't you see? Toto's apple track has solved our problem. We can roll the apples all the way from the trees right to Moo's kitchen. Are you sure that will work? It doesn't hurt to try, right, Moo? <laughs> That's so smart! Ready, steady, roll! It's working! It's working! It's working! I told you it would work! Well done, Toto. <laughs> Everyone, now I have enough jam for the farmer's market, and it's sweet, not salty. Thanks to Toto's awesome apple track and Hooper's great additions. Don't forget my brilliant organizing. <laughs> yeah, we make a good team. Bye! 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 Bye. Mm, that is so good. <laughs> and all thanks to your apple track, Toto. Choo choo. Hey, maybe next time we get to build a real train track. Vroom vroom. A race track? <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you guys next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. <laughs> bye bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are, you are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to help out on Moo's farm. We'll be planting seeds to grow vegetables. Will you get muddy? That's right. I'll probably get messy, so I'm wearing my overalls. Dick to Panda, play! <laughs> you can play on Moo's farm, Toto. Let's go! Yay! Hi, Moo! Thanks for coming, Dr. Panda. Look, I've already prepared the field. Great! All you need to do is plant the seeds that are in this sack. I have to go out and deliver some vegetables. Can you manage without me? No worries. I'll get to work right away. Play! <laughs> I'm afraid that bowl's no good, Toto. There's a hole in it. Oh, gosh! That barn is full of old junk. One of these days I'll sort through it. Well, see you later, Dr. Panda. Bye, Moo. Come on, Toto. 
Look, Toto. These are the seeds. We plant them in the ground, and in time, they grow into vegetables that we can eat. Yay! <gasps> Birds! <gasps> oh, no! Shoo! Shoo! Stop <gasps> eating the seeds! <laughs> shoo! Shoo! Uh, oh, now I'll have to plant this row again. if the birds are just waiting to come back. Maybe there's something in Moo's barn that we can use to keep the birds away. Uh, let's see. Ah. Whoops. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Toto, I've made a scarecrow. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll fool the birds into thinking there's someone here. You reckon it'll work? Shoo, birds! Shoo! Oh, oh, they're more scared of me than the scarecrow. Hey, maybe I can make it look more like me. the scarecrow because it stays still. to the seeds before Moo gets back. Done. Ha! With some seeds left over. What are those birds up to now? Oh! I think I've scared the birds a little too much. Maybe there's something we can do for them. are food for the birds, <laughs> just as the seeds will grow into food for us. 
Great work, Dr. Panda. Oh, hi, Moo. Huh? You've planted all these seeds so quickly. Was it hard work? Oh, let me get you a glass of lemonade. Oh, well, I'm glad you're excited, but it's no trouble. <laughs> Moo, that's not me. I'm over here. Huh? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, perhaps I need my eyes tested. Maybe that's something you can help me with, Dr. Panda. <laughs> I think that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hi, everyone. Well, I'm surrounded by books. Can you guess where I am? <laughs> You're in a library. Yep. Today, I'm taking in and lending out books. That's the cool thing about libraries. We all share. <laughs> Hi, Toto. Have you found something you like? <laughs> Story. Okay. Nobody needs my help right now. Shall I read this to you? Yay! Here we go. <clears throat> in a small house in a big city lives a boy whose mom and dad are so poor they can hardly afford food. <gasps> One day, the boy finds a map to a secret treasure. Mm. <laughs> it's buried where an X marks the spot in a deep, dark forest in a strange land filled with mysterious creatures. To get there, our hero has to find a way to cross a wide river. <clears throat> Sorry to bother you, Dr. Panda, but can I take this book out, please? Ah, sure, Moo. I found this book with new cake recipes. I can't wait to try them. Mm. Oh, they look delicious. If the cakes turn out nicely, I might bring some for you later. That'd be awesome. Happy baking, Moo. Thank you. Enjoy your story, Toto. Okay, let's find out how our hero is... Huh? What? Where's our book gone? Story? Mm, do you want to find another one? Story. Mm, maybe... Oh! Maybe our hero finds a boat to cross the river. <laughs> <laughs> the river is fast and wild, and our little hero has to hang on tight. <laughs> Look out for that rock! <laughs> Phew! Safely on dry land! Now, the little hero is in a strange land. Who knows what creatures he may encounter? <clears throat> I've been waiting for help for quite a while now. Oh, Olette! Hi! Uh-oh! Uh a grumpy ogre! What? The ogre stands between our hero and his quest for the treasure. Oh, uh, yes, uh, I'm a big scary ogre. <coughs> Who dares set foot on my land? Oh no! Will the ogre make the hero into soup and gobble him up? I'd prefer a fruit salad. Our brave hero isn't scared. He says, why don't we look for the treasure together and share it? Hmm. Very well. This way. <laughs> oh, no. There are huge boulders blocking our hero's path. Good thing the ogre is strong enough to clear them out of the way. <laughs> Upon a ginormous snoring troll. 
If the troll wakes up, he'll demand we pay him to go through his forest. <laughs> Oops. What do you want? Our hero is on a quest for treasure, but he's lost his map. Ah, well, uh, to pass through here, you'll have to pay me. Oh. Uh, the hero has no money, but if you will help find the treasure, you too can take a share. Uh. Okay, I'm in. They go deeper and deeper toward the heart of the dark forest. So how do we find the treasure? Uh, the treasure is buried where an X marks the spot. <gasps> Up there! <laughs> it must be around here somewhere. <gasps> X. Oh, hi there, Toto. Look, my cake's turned out lovely. <laughs> treasure, treasure. Treasure! His quest is over. <laughs> There's enough for everyone. <laughs> His poor family will never go hungry again. The troll and the ogre have definitely earned their share of the treasure. And so has the storyteller. That was fun. But I wonder what happened to the real storybook. Uh... Sorry, uh, I wanted to read it, so I took it. <laughs> it was kind of boring anyway. I fell asleep. Your story was so much better. Oh, maybe you ought to be a writer, Dr. Pander. <laughs> I think that's an adventure for another day. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. I'm getting ready to clean things up. Can you guess what I am? A cleaner? Almost. Today, Hoopa and I are litter collectors. Ooh. Ooh. Will the litter be smelly? <laughs> well, I sure hope not. Whoa! It's windy out there. Hi, Hoopa. Let's hope we don't get blown away. Are you coming, Toto? <laughs> kite! Hey, maybe you can fly your kite while Hoopa and I clean things up! Yay! Let's get trucking! Oh, wow. Hi, Moo! Oh. Huh? Where's your litter, Moo? Everywhere! The wind knocked all my bins over! Oh, dear. Uh-oh. It's a disaster! No worries, Moo. We'll soon get this cleaned up. Really? Of course. Sure thing. Oh, good. Because I've got a heap of washing to hang out. At least the wind's good for something. Okay. I'll start here, and you can start over there. I'm on it. Ready, steady, clean. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh, oh. Oh. Wow, the ghost! Hooper, it's me, Moo. A ghost ain't Moo. Uh, oh. Oh, it's you! Yes, it's me! I'm trying to hang out my sheets, but the wind doesn't make it easy. 
It's not easy collecting all this litter when it's this windy either. But the toilet. Oh, Mo, this is gonna be hard. I've just loaded the last bit in the truck. We're all done. Awesome! Great! And my sheets will soon be nice and dry. <laughs> Mo! Oh, no! Not again! Dr. Pander, what are we going to do? Hmm. No worries, Moo. I've got a plan. Great! A plan! What's the plan? We're going to catch the litter! You mean chase after it? No, catch it with a net! The way Moose she caught Toto! Oh! That's so smart! <laughs> Not going anywhere. Thanks for tidying up the garden. Eventually. <laughs> it was all Toto's idea, really. <gasps> You've got a new idea. Balloon! <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. You'd better get your washing in before it flies away. Oh, right. Bye now. Bye, Moo. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye! <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm a weather reporter. We work out what the weather is going to be like, and then we tell everyone about it. Hey, where's Toto? Toto is spending the afternoon at the farm with Moo. Oh, okay. It's time to go on TV, Dr. Panda. Are you ready? Yep, all set. In three... Two. <laughs> Hello, everybody. 
Welcome to today's weather report. Today, it'll be very warm. Ah, I guess I won't need to wear a jacket for my workout later. It will also be very calm with no wind at all. <laughs> Perfect weather for skateboarding. And finally, our weather equipment tells us there will be no rain. Great! That means I can work on my roof today. And that's the weather report for today. See you tonight for tomorrow's weather. <gasps> you did great, Dr. Panda. Well, with our special weather equipment, how could we go wrong? Uh-oh. <gasps> What's wrong? Uh, something's up with our special weather equipment. Come on. Uh-oh. Check the thermometer first. It tells us how warm or cold it is. Oh, May May, look at this. Oh, how cute. Oh, the mommy bird must have thought this was a good place to keep her eggs warm. Oh, but the nest is also keeping the thermometer warm. Looks like it's a lot colder than we thought. <laughs> I thought Dr. Panda said it would be warm today. I'm freezing. <sighs> Something else is wrong. The wind meter isn't moving. Someone's kite has blown up here and got tangled up with it. Looks like it's quite windy today after all. <gasps> Dr. Panda was wrong! <gasps> This should be moving around, searching the sky for rain clouds. I think it needs some oil. Um, Dr. Panda, didn't you say there wasn't gonna be any rain today? That's right. Today, there will be no rain. Quick, get back inside. finish my building work, so I need to know what the weather is going to be. No worries. Let me check. What? Ah! Oh, my laptop is broken. Mm. Rain and laptops don't mix. I need the laptop to tell me what our equipment is saying about the weather. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what the weather is going to be, Hoopa. I guess. I'll just have to guess, I guess. I'm sorry, Hoopa. Oh. Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Hi, Toto! Hey, Moo! How did you know it was going to rain today? Our weather report said it was going to be dry. Well, Dr. Panda, I'm a farmer. I always know what the weather's gonna be. You do? Well, what equipment do you use? A thermometer? A satellite dish? <gasps> Weather balloons? <laughs> Don't be silly. I can tell from what I see around me on the farm, like the colour of the sky or how the chickens behave. Chickens know what the weather is going to be? Oh. Uh? You'd be surprised. Oh, Moo, I think you'd make an excellent TV weather reporter. <gasps> I'll get the camera. In three, two, one. Good evening. 
evening and welcome to the weather report. We are sorry to have gotten the weather wrong today, but we have a special reporter with a better way of telling the weather. Over to you, Moo. Hmm? Uh, hello. <laughs> Let me see now. Uh, well, there was no fog this morning and the bees have been out all day, so tomorrow it will be partly cloudy with a slight breeze. And the sky's red, so that means there'll be no rain tomorrow. Great! That's the perfect weather to finish my building work. But the chickens are huddling together to keep warm, so it will also be a bit chilly tomorrow. Don't forget to wear a jumper. I won't. Thank you, Moo, for your excellent weather reporting. It was my pleasure, Dr. Pander. I liked being on TV. Hey, maybe we could do a cooking program together. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. Panda. What, what are, are you going, going to do today? today? Hi, everyone. Actually, the day is almost over. I'm doing a job that can't be done in the daytime. I'm going to be an astronomer. What's an astronomer? <laughs> an astronomer studies the moon and the stars and the planets in space. <laughs> oh, thank you, Toto. There are going to be some awesome shooting stars tonight. Wow! wow. <laughs> are you ready to go? <laughs> oh, you have to stay awake, Toto. You don't want to miss the shooting stars. Stars! All right. Let's go! Oh, hi, Leo. Hi, Dr. Panda. Hi, Toto. Look, the stars are already waiting for you. <gasps> wow! When can we see the shooting stars? Well, they're supposed to start in an hour. Aw, oh, that means we have to wait for a long time. Yes, but there's lots more to see. We can look for planets, or see how many constellations we can find. What's a constellation? <laughs> That's the name for a group of stars. Let's see. Okay. Ah, here's Orion. It's in the shape of a hunter. You can find it by looking for the three stars in his belt. Amazing! You want to see too? There's Ursa Major. Oh, that means Great Bear. You can recognize it by the stars that are shaped like a saucepan. And that one there is <coughs> my constellation. You have your own group of stars? No, I mean, this constellation is called Leo. <laughs> oh, you look great up there, Leo. <laughs> How do we know which of the stars are going to shoot? Oh, shooting stars are not really stars. No, people just call them that because they look like stars shooting across the night sky. Then what are they? They're meteors, small pieces of space rock. Most of them are tiny, only the size of a pebble. Hmm. So how can we see them from all the way down here? Because when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up and glow like stars. And that's called a meteor shower. A meteor shower. Cool. But they only light up for a moment. So you have to keep your eyes... Your eyes... Open. Leo, wake up. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, I wasn't asleep. 
No, but you nearly were. Wasn't he, Toto? <laughs> I guess it's past your bedtime, huh? <laughs> Maybe the blanket and the hot chocolate have made us a little too comfortable. <laughs> we don't want to miss the meteor shower. Let's do something to keep ourselves awake. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. <sighs> I don't think I'm fit enough for this. C can we do something a little less energetic? How about singing a song to stay awake? Oh, yes! A good old outdoor sing-along. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How, How I, I wonder, wonder what, what you, you are. are. Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you Oh no! Maybe that wasn't such a good song to sing after all. Leo, wake up! Leo! 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 Oh, it's no good, Toto. He's fast asleep. If we can't think of something to wake him up, he's gonna miss the meteor shower. <gasps> A shower! That's it! Toto, where's the flask? Sorry, Leo. What? What? Is it raining? No, I threw some water over you. <laughs> Why? Was I on fire? No, we couldn't wake you, and I didn't want you to miss the shooting stars. Oh, the meteor shower. I didn't miss it, did I? Toto, you take a look. Quick, it won't last long. Wow! This is amazing! I'm so glad we saw them! It's a long time to wait up for something that's over so fast, isn't it? Yeah, but that just makes it even more special! <laughs> Thank you for waking me. I would have hated to miss the show. Sorry I had to do it that way. Well, if we ever go camping, <laughs> I know who can be in charge of putting out the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Camping! I think that's an adventure for another day, Toto. Or another night. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to babysit those chickens. Aww. Never think all right. It's the perfect time to get lucky with you. Hey, Moo. That's a nice song. Oh, <laughs> hello, Dr. Panda. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> well, you sounded great. And something smells great, too. Oh, yes. I've made you some cupcakes. As a thank you for looking after my little darlings tonight. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, I'm so excited to see my favorite band in concert. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. <laughs> Your chickens seem to like the music too. Oh yes, but a concert is no place for chickens. And neither is the kitchen. Out you go. These cupcakes are for Dr. Panda. <laughs> oh, you know I don't mind sharing. That's very kind, but they can't have food before bed. It keeps them awake. If they eat any of those cupcakes now, you'll have awful trouble getting them to sleep. 
once you've read them a bedtime story, they go into their chicken coop to get cosy for the night. Oh, and make sure all five of them are inside. No worries, Moo. I've got it. Be good for Dr. Pander now, won't you? <laughs> we'll be fine. Have a great time at the concert, Moo. Oh, I will. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is... Oh, remember, don't give him any food. It's time to get clucky with you. And that's how the brave little fairy saved the big giant. Ah, <sighs> right, chickens. Time for bed. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Good night, chickens. Sleep well. <laughs> ah, chicken sitting is easy. They're so well behaved. Ooh. I think I'll have a cupcake. Toto, would you like a cupcake? <laughs> <laughs> I'll save one for him. Huh? <gasps> hey! Chickens! <laughs> Stop that at once! Off you go. Back to bed now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. What's going on? Ah! Now there are none! Oh, so that's how they got out. Hello? Hoopa, I need your help at Moose Farm. Sure thing, Dr. Panda. I'll be right there. <laughs> Great job. Thanks, Hoopa. No problem. Easy fix. Now all I have to do is get the chickens back inside. <laughs> Let me help you. It'll be easier with the two of us. Oh, great idea, Hoopa. Why don't you catch those two and I'll go after the one inside the house. Sure thing. Here we go. chickens back to bed and Moo will be home soon. Maybe we can tempt them in with food. They've already eaten. That's the whole problem. Mm. If only there was something else they liked. Oh, <gasps> That's it! Hoopa, you're a genius! I am? We're getting clucky tonight and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. Join in, Hoopa, <laughs> tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. That's it, Hoopa. Tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. Perfect. Great singing, Dr. Panda. And you. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. But time for me, too. Thanks for all your help, Hoopa. You're a great pal. Anytime. Bye. Phew. We're getting clucky tonight, and everything is all right. Hello, Dr. Panda. Oh, are my little darlings fast asleep? Oh, they're certainly fast, and hopefully they're asleep. That concert was amazing. I think I'm going to become a pop star. 
You should. Your singing is very good. Oh, but then who'd look after my farm? <gasps> Perhaps you could be a farmer for me, Dr. Pander, since you're so good at looking after my chickens. <laughs> Maybe that's an adventure for another day. <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hi, everyone. Today, I'm in a museum. Wow. Look, we keep all kinds of objects from a very long time ago and show them to our visitors. Like over here, we have a... Huh? Dr. Panda, have you seen Hoopa? No. He was supposed to bring us the most important piece of our show. The piece that goes here? Exactly. Here's your delivery, guys. What's in here, anyway? It doesn't say on the box. <gasps> a dinosaur. Hmm? But dinosaurs are really big. How would that ever fit inside this box? <gasps> it's broken! No, Hoopa. It's a dinosaur skeleton, and we'll have to assemble it ourselves. Oh. Oh. Well, I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Gotta go. Bye, Hoopa. This must be a leg bone. Or is it the tail? I don't know, but I'm sure there are instructions. Let's empty the box. Hmm, nope. No instructions. This is terrible. We can't just show our visitors a, a pile of bones. Hold on, Richie. Maybe we can put it together ourselves. Without instructions? It doesn't hurt to try. Hmm. Ah, see? Hey, it's like a puzzle. I'm good at puzzles. And this piece must be a claw. Hmm. Only one claw? Ah, there. Ah, uh, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. No? Oh, we're never going to get this right without the instructions. No worries, Richie. I'm sure there's something we can do. Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Done! Huh? <laughs> Puzzle! Done! Oh, you finished your puzzle, have you? Let me see. Oh, that's a funny horse, Toto. The head is where the tail should be. Huh? <laughs> see? Oh, that's it! Richie! If we know what the dinosaur looks like, we'll have a much better idea of how to put the skeleton together. But there wasn't a picture on the box. We don't even know what this dinosaur is called. Well, we're in a museum. There must be books in the museum library that can help. I'll go get some right away. Hi, Olette. Oh, hello, Dr. Panda. What can I do for you? Do you have a book on dinosaurs? Of course. We have lots. Oh, good. We need your help. It's a dinosaur emergency. Give me all the books on dinosaurs you have, and I'll take them to the main hall. The books aren't allowed to leave this room, I'm afraid. They're very old, and it would be sad if they got lost or damaged. Aw, oh, okay. Hmm. I could use my tablet to send Richie pictures of the dinosaurs. Olette, how many books have you got? Oh. Hello? Dr. Panda, have you found any pictures of dinosaurs? Uh, yep. Quite a lot. Never mind, Dr. Panda. I've put it together. It's a... Giraffosaurus. What about the spiky bit? I thought it was a claw. Uh, it's a spiky knee, Giraffosaurus. I'll just look for a dinosaur with a long neck. Okay. Lots of dinosaurs with a long neck, but none of them have spiky knees. No, no, no. Richie? 
Dr. Panda, I realized what that spiky bit is. It's a fin. A fin? Yes, like a shark's fin, but for a dinosaur. Oh, okay. I'll look for a picture that looks like this. Lots of swimming dinosaurs with a long neck, but none of them have a tiny shark fin. Dr. Panda, I've got it now. See, I made a mistake. The neck bones were actually tail bones. It's a T-Rex. <gasps> so where does the spiky bone go? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's a tooth. <laughs> there! Oh, all done! <laughs> do, 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 Hoopa, have you found the instructions? Better than that, Richie. I was driving my truck, and I heard a rattling sound. And then I looked, and I found... more bones! I told everyone about the dinosaur. They can't wait to see it. Have fun putting it together. Bye. Bad, bad. Oh, Dr. Panda, we'll never get this right. Don't give up, Richie. I'll keep looking in these books. Hmm. Now, what is that spiky bone? <gasps> That's it. We'll never know what this dinosaur is called. No, Richie! Look! <gasps> that spiky bone is its nose! What's it called? Welcome, everyone, to the unveiling of our new Centrosaurus! Whoa. Oh, yes! Whoa. A Centrosaurus! Whoa! It's awesome! That's impressive! It sure is! Wow! What an amazing animal! <sighs> Have you finished your puzzle yet, Toto? <laughs> horsey! Horsey! Aw, oh, you want to play horsey, huh? Well, that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone! Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda! Bye-bye!